My skin is glowing today. I am loving, living for it. It went viral because of Jenny. It really does give you that whoosh cooling effect. What? I saw this and I was just like, Oh, this is genius. These are actually viral in Korea, more in Korea. Everyone's saying it's making the perfect dupe for Chanel. Hey guys, it's Sirka back to my Chanel. All right, for today's video, we're going to, or I'm going to actually look into viral TikTok skincare hacks as well as viral TikTok skincare products. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was like, I don't know why that took so much brain energy to like get out of my mouth But yes, I'm going to look into one of these hacks and I'm going to show you guys if they're worth it And so without further ado, let's get this video started and P.S. I just want to thank SK104 for presenting me with this beautiful flowers for my birthday Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is this viral skincare hack where you dump your face into icy cold water And I believe this has been going around for a while actually it went viral because of Jenny, Miss Jenny from Blackpink I think I saw her do it in one of her vlogs as she was getting ready to, for a red carpet event And I think it became a trend again and I remember seeing that, I'm just like, oof, I, the thing is, I get why people do it because when you're getting your makeup done, you want your skin to cool down because heat is the worst enemy for your makeup because once your skin is heated and you try and do makeup on top, everything's gonna peel, everything's not gonna stay put, it's just going to become a huge mess. So I get why people do it and I feel like, ooh, you know, just times cause it's for desperate measures, but I personally wouldn't do it because Dunking your face in icy cold water, especially if you do it a lot of times, it's actually going to irritate your skin so badly. It's going to aggravate or exacerbate the irritation, the redness. You're basically just annoying the F out of your skin barrier. And that's why I personally am not a fan of it. And instead, what I would actually do is use sheet masks like this. This is the Biodense Hydrosterenol Real Deep Mask. Now, I know I reviewed this in one of these kinds of video last time. I reviewed the collagen one, I believe, and I told you guys, you know what? Like, I can't see myself like seeping in it because it's so cool. Like, the hydro is cool. But now, guess what, guys? It works because it's so freaking hot. <laughs> It is so hot. So this is their latest release and this is exactly like their viral one, pink one. But this is Hydrosterenol Real Deep Mask. So it has hyaluronic acid for hydration, of course. Star stands for ceramide and that is to strengthen your skin barrier and fortify it. And then Nol stands for Panthenol, which once again helps with moisturization and strengthening your skin barrier. So this is basically, it's very cooling, guys. This. Of course, it's made out of hydrogel, but because of these elements, it has glacial water. It really does give you that whoosh cooling effect. This feels so good at the end of a long, hot summer day. And I feel like this is what I would go instead of dunking my face in icy cold water. No, that is just, no, don't do it. That's just suicide for your skin barrier, really. This is like the viral one, you go to sleep with this. And like I said, because it's so hot that this actually helps me cool down. So I just put this on, I go to sleep and I wake up and my skin, the effects, I actually said in the last video where I reviewed the pink one, the collagen one, I actually told you guys, oh, the effects are better than I thought. Like, I I thought it would be dry and irritating but it wasn't it was actually like my skin was glowing the next day so i know it worked so this is going to help with inflammation with any redness and it's going to present you with a magnificent glow and another tip that i have for you guys for the sheet mask is that yes you can of course go to sleep with this but i don't know about you guys but whenever i clean my house because of the d dust and dirt my skin always ends up being very itchy at the end of the cleanup and it's because the dust will stick onto my skin so what i do is i actually put this on do the whole shebang the clean shebang i work i clean and my skin stays intact and it's not bothered by any dust it works wonders and afterwards you see the soft and my skin is glowy i love it so this is one that you should check out if you really want to try like the icy water dunking hack but you don't want to destroy your skin oh and you can try this on the airplane and you guys know you guys have seen this everywhere so make sure to check this out guys it's hydrogel and also guys i just wanted to share with you guys real quick because i thought this was really cool and i think this is gonna go viral this is their latest release. This is their external gel toner pads. It's toner pad, but it's made out of hydrogel or gel. What? I saw this and I was just like, oh, this is genius. But this also likewise has panthenol 
it has a ceramide, it has glacial water. So it's going to hydrate, it's going to cool, it's going to nourish, it's going to strengthen your skin barrier. But I thought this was genius and I think this is gonna go viral. So I just wanna say, I think I really like the idea. I like how innovative it is and I like the ingredient makeup and I just like how you can slap this on and kind of get the Hydro Gel experience without breaking the bank. But this is so easy. Like you just slap it on like a toner pad. So love this, absolutely love. I've been absolutely loving this. And also one more thing, guys, I'm sorry. I just, one more thing, just one more thing. This is really, this has been working fantastically. I think I mentioned this in one of my recent videos. This is the Biotis Skin Refining Mild Peachy Toner. This is actually really good. I think if you're into, or you're looking for like a really light, refreshing, hydrating toner with a mild exfoliant property, check this out. I wish it was bigger. That's the only thing that I have. Oh, but not only has PHA, but LHA in it. So it has uh, more gentler exfoliating ingredients, but this has been working absolutely superbly for my skin. So I just slapped this on as a first step on my skincare routine. But Biodance has a lot of great products. All right, the next viral product that I'm going to look into is these, are these. These are actually viral in Korea, more in Korea, but I know that the Milk Makeup's Jelly um, Blood Washer sticks went viral and I wish I could have gotten my hands on them but I can't because it's too far away. Milk makeup is not sold in Korea. This is I guess Korean's version to that viral product. Um, this is Colorgram's uh, what are you called multi jelly stick and it looks very very similar so I got them in two colors. So you can see it looks pretty similar, right? But the difference is that I know the Milk Makeups is like more jello, like boing boing. But this one is hard. It's like a stick stick. So I got them in two colors and they have it in a total of three colors instead. And then the third color I couldn't get my hands on because it was sold out. But that was one that I was most interested in. That one was a transparent one and it changes according to like the pH level and the heat and the temperature of your skin, which I thought was really, really interesting and fun. So I really wanted to check that out. But alas, I could not. I'll definitely update you guys because these are very, very affordable. I don't know how much milk makeup products are, but these were, I bought them myself by the way. Um, These were like $5, $6 at most, which I thought wasn't so bad. And so I've been trying them out because oh, it's so cute, right? And these are actually, I was impressed. So first, the payoff is very light it's very subtle which is very befitting to the whole makeup training korea you guys know we don't like going crazy i mean not crazy like i i get okay i'm just blabbering but you guys know right you guys know what i mean in korea we're very subtle with our blushes so you can see it's not like overwhelming and with this one i actually advise you to swipe instead of do, doing this because this has very very little payoff so you want to swipe it across your uh, cheek areas and then you can go directly with it oh this is a multi so you can use this on your lips and cheek areas but I was really impressed because the formulation and the payoff is actually very, very beautiful. Right now, I have something else different on, but here's an insert so you guys can see how beautifully this works. And the formulation is very glowy. So this is basically an oil bomb. It's like a multi-bomb, like the Kai multi-bomb. So it's very oily. So it gives you that nice glowing shine on your cheeks. So if you're into like the matte, look like baby powder bosom bosom look this isn't for you but if you like that glow like me self i'm living for my look right now i look so demure very mindful very cutesy i know <laughs> i jumped you guys over that trend i i know i know it's like so cringy but i love that trend i really do recommend these um i wish they had it in a lot more colors because the colors that they have like i said are only these two and these two they're cute they're cutesy, but ah, uh, I wish they had more like beige, like soft rose colors instead of these really bright colors. I feel like these are more su suited for like teens or like early 20s, you know, when you want to look really, you know, fun, fruity, bright, like, ah, like cheerily, <laughs> I don't know. Like, you guys know what I mean, right? Um, so, but I'm very, very impressed. I really, really do like these. I think these are like great for, a summer night out like when you're on your vacation you just want to you know make your makeup pop so i actually do really like these uh, i know you can get them on olive young global and stuff so make sure to check these out okay another really trendy product i've seen on tiktok are these square toner pads and the one i have here is the one from mediheal so mediheal i know is loved across all platforms across all ages their sheet masks are just they're perfect their tea tree one is very very famous 
And so they started a new kind of trend, I guess, with these square toner pads. So I have their Metacasticide Blemish Pad. Now, it's not only MediHeal that's come out with these. Um, I also know that, oh, what's your face? Oh my gosh. So sorry. Dermatory. Yes, Dermatory. So Dermatory also has these square toner pads. And ah, there's something so satisfactory about square toner pads. And I know with the Dermatory one, you can even just, like stretch it out and just like fit it across your face. So I think they're really great. However, I don't know if it's because I've had this over them for a while, but honestly, it actually hasn't even been that long. The ones from Mediheal actually feel a little drying. You guys know, I know a little thing or two about toner pads because I'm the CEO. Of my own so good toner pad and i am very adamant about making sure that my toner pads are soaked with hydration because i do not like the sensation of wiping my face with a dry ass toner pad that's like the worst thing i think i could ever do to my skin you know apart from the icing dunking my face in ice water hack so uh i just yeah it's so dry i don't know why and like the material itself it's like a gauze type so these type are great to kind of do a nice physical exfoliation but if they're drying they're la lacking the essence these can irritate your skin further especially if you have a very very sensitive skin like myself so what i did i flipped the toner pad just so that i could maybe perhaps get the essence at the bottom to go across but even so so i ended up using the toner pad that was at the bottom which should be the most hydrated because it's been sitting at the bottom but even so it doesn't feel too hydrating now of course in terms of like the ingredient list this is not a castle site it's very cooling it's very calming i really do like it it's just not enough for me i need these to be pickled in the essence like i need like the essence to be like dripping you can see like it's like coming apart i mean i love mediheal don't get me wrong but i rather go for dermatory ones i just feel like they're more befitting to my skin type because the material is a lot more softer it's more stretchier it feels more pillowy these ones i feel like if you have maybe oily skin type and you have a stronger thicker skin barrier these might work better but for me yes i'm gonna leave it like that and this let's just <laughs> let's move on oh okay guys so the last product actually oh this is a product that's been going viral like crazy in korea and i specifically want to buy it because i think if you guys ever have the chance to come to korea and get hands on this you should totally get it it is the sonam park artist spread color bomb number one sunset this okay this has been going viral in korea because everyone's saying it's making the perfect dupe for chanel live in cheek which retails for 63,000 won. that's around like 50 dollars do you guys know how much this costs? This cost a dollar and fifty. This cost ham tonon. And this has been going viral because everyone's saying it's like the same. People are saying it's the same. Now I haven't got my hands on the Chanel one. I will still so I can compare it for you guys. But I've been watching all these videos where girls are like comparing it and they look identical. I'm serious. So this is a product you can get at Daiso. And Daiso makeup and skincare are another category in Korea that's going viral. I think they're going even more viral than products that sold at Olive Young. Like Daiso is where it's at now. It's cheap, they have very good quality, and I mean the prices, it's out of this world. They have like a sunscreen that's being sold at like, I don't know, $3. It's very, very affordable. So you guys want to check it out. Of course, this is one I have to check out. Like its name, this is basically a balm that you can use it for your lips or your cheeks. It's what I have on right now. And the color is so gorgeous. Let me do me off. It's a pot type and it's very oily too. So it's very moisturizing and it gives you that really nice glow as well. So once again, if you're not a fan of that, look into other options. And what I also love about this is that this fits perfectly within my personal color range. Very, very, very subtle. If you come to Korea, go to Daiso. After you shopped at Olive Young, you have to go to Daiso and you have to get this. Mind you, this was sold out for the longest time. I was, I couldn't find it in a lot of stores. So like the fat has kind of faded and that's how I was, <laughs> I was able to get my hands on it. The longevity, I will say it's not like perfect because it is more glowy. So it does fade away, but it's so easy to reapply. It's like, 
washed and you're done and it's got a lot of product too like this could last me a good whole year if i stuck to it so and sonam park i don't know if you guys heard of it but sonam park is actually a pretty famous brand it's founded by these two very very renowned makeup artists in korea so their products are very very high quality as well so make sure to check this one out for sure all right guys that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and let me know if there are any other products that you guys want me to review in the comments down below like i really i really want to review the dior blusher you know that's been going viral even still to this day i feel like so let me know and i'll you know my money like don't worry i'll spend my money for me for you guys <laughs> so you guys don't have to waste your money but anyways i'll make sure to give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next ciao